Some have said that it's not a picture until you print it. With this in mind, we purchased and tested 2021's 13 best photo printers. These machines span the category from battery-powered mini printers to full-size desktop machines that will pump out professional quality images on a wide range of mediums and in a variety of dimensions. While our in-house photography team tested for image quality, the office whizzes analyzed the shot and long-term costs of printing. With the holistic picture that our research provides, you'll be able to confidently pick the proper photo printer for your needs. The first product on our list is Epson Shure Color P700. The Epson Shure Color P700 is a professional quality printer whose color prints are in a class of their own. In complement to the color output, and demonstrating its remarkable range, the P700's grayscale renderings are superb as well. On the technical side of the equation, the setup of this unit is relatively straightforward though it does require downloading software and following a multi-step process. Finally, at just 37 cents per 4 inches by 6 inches color photo, this model has a cost per print that is competitive with commercial printing labs. That's quite a selling point if you ask us. Given all the praises we've showered this model of modern home printing with, you may be wondering, what's the catch? It's the cost. The P700 is expensive and is made more so because the inks that come with the machine are starter cartridges that will quickly be exhausted. The unit is also physically large and will eat up a lot of desk or countertop space. Those are our only critiques for this machine, it is truly a pleasure to use. The second product on our list is Canon IV. Rekindling the excitement of the Polaroid cameras of yesteryear, the Canon IV makes on-the-fly photo printing fun and easy. It has a streamlined, compact shape and seamless Bluetooth interaction with your smartphone. The prints are of reasonable quality and have decent resolution when compared to other mini printers. The zinc paper that the machine uses has an adhesive back that turns them into stickers, which is a fun perk for all ages. While the Ivy makes printing as easy as pushing a button on your phone, its usefulness is somewhat limited, and the cost per print is a bit pricey. This model can only print on one kind of paper, in one set of dimensions, 2 inches by 3 inches. Moreover, when compared to a desktop photo printer, the photo quality isn't that great. If you just want to play around with a printer, however, and don't want the fuss of maintaining an inkjet machine, the Canon IV is the ticket. The next product in our list is Epson Expression Photo HD XP15000. If you want a full-size printer but don't want a full-size dent in your wallet, the Epson Expression Photo HD XP15000 is the machine to thread that needle. This relatively compact model punches well above its weight. It will print in large format, and with the aid of its expansive color palette, it produces vibrant colors that come out nicely across all print formats. Although there is plenty to praise the Epson Expression Photo HD XP15000 for, it has shortcomings in overall resolution and in grayscale, where dock tonal transitions can be challenging to discern. Additionally, the dock areas showed some subtle but noticeable micro-banding. And, although the issue seemed to resolve itself over time, we had some issues with the printer staying connected. Despite these critiques, we'd say this is one heck of a printer that most photographers will find more than satisfactory. The next product in our list is Canon PIXMA TR4520. The Canon PIXMA TR4520 is a great neat-sized machine to get you started with at-home photo printing. In contrast to higher-end printers that tend to be overwhelming for newbies, this model is affordable and straightforward to operate. It supports the use of standard paper types, allowing you to experiment and see why specific papers work well in some situations and not in others. The print dimensions are limited to smaller sizes, so you won't be tempted to break the bank learning the craft. And, because this machine is relatively compact, you won't have to sacrifice half your counter space to house it. Though the Canon PIXMA TR4520 is great for novices, it's not without its downfalls. The prints coming out of this model often lack fidelity to the original image. This disparity is most apparent in orangish skin tones and oversaturated blues. Its best color results are seen on higher quality paper, which can get a bit more expensive. That said, this machine can render better results than the average photo lab. The next product in our list is Canon Selfie CP1300. The Canon Selfie CP1300 is a significant step up in quality from the mini printers, 
but it maintains the same appeal. This machine is compact, transportable, and can even run off a battery, sold separately. If you are looking to get all those great photos off your phone and onto your friend's fridges, this is the printer to get. The photo quality is better than the average retail photo lab, and the cost isn't much higher either. It's also fun to watch the machine at work. Seriously. The paper passes back and forth through the machine layering on the different inks, allowing you to see the CMYK color model in action. The only real criticism against the selfie is that it's limited to just a few print sizes and Canon's glossy proprietary paper. Additionally, we weren't surprised to see that a printer of this size had some streaking and color fidelity issues, though they weren't too bad. Conversely, we were pleasantly surprised that the skin tones and transitions in grayscale were pretty much spot on. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.